Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson five, the opposite of a number's opposite. What? The opposite of a number's opposite. The opposite of an opposite. Hmm, that's confusing. All right, let's take a look. Classwork, opening exercise. Locate the number negative two and its opposite on the number line below. I will mark the negative with red. There is negative two. By definition, a number's distance from zero and its opposite have the same distance from zero the other direction. So negative two is two units to the left of zero, so I have to go to the right two to get to zero. And then I go to the right two more, and that is where my negative two's opposite is. So the number negative two is here, and its opposite on the number line is two. So there it is. B, write an integer that represents each of the following. 90 feet below sea level. Let me change that to red because the word below is a negative number. Below means to go in the negative direction or down if we had a vertical number line. So that is negative 90 feet. Okay, write an integer that represents each of the pockets. There it is, negative 90. $100 of debt means you have negative $100. Two degrees Celsius above zero. Above zero means it's positive, so that integer would be two. <clears throat> okay. Joe is at the ice cream shop. Okay. Gelato. And his house, his casa, is ten blocks north of the shop. North. All right. The park is ten blocks south of the ice cream shop. So this is talking about vertical, north-south. So if we think of a map and a compass, and we think of it as this, and this is north, and that's east, and that's west, and this is south. What's that spell, by the way? N-E-W-S, news, huh? Anyway, Joe is at the ice cream shop, and his house is 10 blocks north of the shop. So I'm going to put the ice cream shop here. Okay, ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. And this house is 10 blocks north of the shop. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put a dot right here. Okay, and what's that there? His house. There's home sweet home. Okay. All right. The park is 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. So I'm going to go from the ice cream shop here. I'm going to go south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's negative ten. And that's the park. Okay. Let me label this positive ten. So the ice cream shop is the same distance from home. In the park, okay, or I should say the park is the same distance from the ice cream shop as his house is. All right, so then we have a question. When he is at the ice cream shop, right here, switch to black. When he is here, Joe's right here. Joe's at the ice cream shop. Is Joe closer to the park or is he closer to the house? How could the number zero be used in this situation? Explain. So if the ice cream shop is ground zero, okay, so that's zero, and the distance from the ice cream shop to home is 10, and the distance from the ice cream shop to the park is 10 blocks south and his house is 10 blocks north, assuming blocks are equivalent, then you would say neither one is closer. They're the same distance. Okay, that answers the first question mark. Then it says, how could the number zero be used in this situation? Okay, how could the number zero be used in this situation? Explain. 
Okay, well, the zero can be used to determine the distance positive and the distance negative to the park and to the house. Okay? Okay, example one says the opposite of an opposite of a number. The opposite of an opposite. What is the opposite of the opposite of an eight? How can we illustrate this on the number of... Okay, so we're going to answer this in steps. So A says, what number is 8 units to the right of 0? So if I am 8 units to the right of 0, just counting here, making sure I'm centered. There's 0. If I am 8 units to the right of 0, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units to the right of 0 is 8. How can you illustrate locating the opposite of 8 on the number line? Well, since 0, 8 is to the right 8 units from 0, then its opposite is the same distance from 0 the other way. So it's going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So here is negative 8. Here is 8. That distance from 0 to 8 is 8 units. The distance from here to here is 8 units in the left direction, or negative direction, and they're both the same distance. Okay, so how can you illustrate locating the opposite of 8 on this number line? Um, just as I'm showing right here, 8 units to the right, and 8 units to the left is opposite. What is the opposite of 8? Well, it's right here. It's negative 8. Use the same pro process to locate the opposite of negative 8. Well, the opposite of negative 8 is go to the right 8 to get to 0, go to the right 8 more, and you end up at the opposite of negative 8, and the opposite of negative 8 is 8. So the opposite of an opposite number is... So, what is the opposite of the opposite of 8? So, you take the opposite of 8. So, you start at 8. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. The opposite of the opposite would be the opposite of negative 8, which is back to 8. So, the opposite of an opposite of a number is that number. We end up back where we start. Okay? So this exercise here was done in class using students. So rather than using students' names, I'm just going to call this person A. I'm going to call this person B. This person C. This person D. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a value. And they drew cards. Um, but I'm going to give you a value. This is 4, 150, negative 6, negative the opposite of card, negative A. Okay. The opposite of card. In other words, negative A. So here's card A. The card calling it A. The opposite of card, so find it negative A. So if card A was 4, the negative A would be negative 4. Because we take the negative of card A. That equals negative 4. We're going to take the negative of card A, which is 150, so therefore that's negative 150. We're going to take the negative of negative 6. Here's where some of you get into trouble. A negative of a negative is a positive 6. And then a negative of a negative 9 is 9. Okay. Now when we're talking about opposite of an opposite, well, this is card A, it's 4. The opposite of card A is negative 4, so we're the opposite of the opposite. I'm taking the opposite of negative 4, and an opposite of a negative is positive. We're back to where we started. The opposite of negative 150 is positive 150. That's what we had originally. The opposite of 6 is negative 6, and that's what we ended up with, or started with. 
the opposite of 9. So I'm taking the opposite of negative a, the opposite of this one. The opposite of 9 is negative 9. And that's where we started. Write the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 as an equation. So the opposite of negative 10 as an equation will be negative, negative 10 equals 10. Okay. So the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 as an equation, this is the opposite of negative 10 as 10. So if I take the opposite of 10 now, so that's now we're going to say the opposite of 10. So it's a two-step process, by the way. So if I write the opposite of the opposite of negative 10, we first have to find the opposite of negative 10. The opposite of negative 10 is 10. Now I want to take the opposite of that number, so we're taking the opposite of 10, and that is negative 10. So what we're really doing is... taking the opposite of the opposite of negative 10, and that equals negative 10. Okay. This is the number. That means opposite. That means opposite of the opposite. In general, the opposite of the opposite number is the original number. Is the original number. Okay. Provide a real world world example of this rule. Show your work. Okay. And let me write this out. I'll try to do it as neatly as possible so that it will convert. And I'm going to say. The opposite of the opposite of one hundred feet below sea level is 100 feet below sea level. The opposite of the opposite of 100 feet below sea level it is 100 feet below sea level. Okay, so let me explain. We have a negative, negative 100 equals 100. That's the opposite of 100 feet below sea level. 100 feet below sea level is minus 100. The opposite of that is 100. Okay, so the opposite of the opposite of 100 feet below sea level. 100 feet below sea level is negative 100. The opposite of that is negative of that, which is 100. Then we have to take the opposite of that, so we're taking the opposite of one, two, and that equals negative or 100 feet. Okay. 
that's the end of lesson five.